Hello and welcome to the first lecture in topology. Today we will answer the question what is topology? What is topology? But uh, before we answer this, first we should know what kind of topology we are talking about. So there are various topics related to topology. First one is what's called general topology or point set topology. Then there is also algebraic topology. And then there are others such as combinatorial topology. Uh, differential topology, etc. But in this course, we will only be concerned with the first one, which is general or point set topology. So, this course is about point set topology. So, what is point set topology? Okay, so let's answer the question what is point set topology? And uh, I'll only use the term topology to refer to point set topology. Okay, so let's list the main features of this subject. So the first one is that um, it is a gateway to geometry, and what do I mean by a gateway to geometry? It means that topology studies geometrical objects, studies geometrical objects, but it is something more, in some sense, more fundamental or more basic. Okay. It is more fundamental than geometry. Um, so, historically, uh, topology started um, as a study of usual geometrical objects that we know uh, like uh, polygons, etc. But uh, eventually it became an abstract uh, subject on its own. So, it, it is used to study the usual geometrical objects that we are familiar with. But it is also uh, something that lies, uh, uh, that becomes a platform for studying uh, geometrical objects. Okay. But it is also different from geometry. How is it different from geometry? So, let me go to a new page. So, in geometry, we study. Uh, uh, curved objects. So, for example, this is a curved object. Okay. Uh, and in geometry, these two things are, are considered different. Okay. And this is a flat object. And in geometry, Uh, these two things are different. Uh, different. Why? Because the first one has a bent shape, it is curved, and the second one, the one below, uh, is is flat. It has no uh, no bending, right? So um, in geometry, these are different, and geometry studies the amount of this. Uh, bending or curvature, it's called curvature, and it uh, distinguishes things that have uh, different curvatures. Um, in you have you might have already seen uh, Euclidean geometry where you have studied uh, things inside a plane like triangles or polygons, and you might also have also have seen um, 
coordinate geometry where you study uh, mathematical objects, geometric objects that can be expressed as equations. And all of them have a precise shape. Right? So triangle has a precise shape, a polygon has a precise shape. And if you bend it in some way, then um, that shape changes and the geometric object is, is different. But in topology, all these things are equivalent or the same. In topology, they are the same. And what do I mean by same will uh, be ex uh, explained later. We will make it very precise. What do I mean by this? And, and these two things, uh, the curved one and the flat one, are the same in topology. So it is uh, topology is a, a gateway, it is something more fundamental to geometry, and it is also different from geometry. Okay. The third one, the third main feature of topology is that it it studies properties of uh, objects that remain unchanged unchanged uh, under continuous deformations continuous deformations and what do I mean by this so <coughs> uh, an example of, of, of this feature is is the circle and the square. Okay. So both this, these things have this kind of hole in them. Okay. So I'll call this a hole. And we see that if you even if you stretch your circle in, in, in some way, so you can deform your circle in whichever way you like. You can make it a square or you can make it another uh, shape. But this number of hole that we have is still the same, right? It's still one. So all of these have, they have one hole. Okay. And this is an example of something that remains invariant under continuous deformation. So you can think of uh, getting this uh, this shape from the circle by deforming various uh, parts of the circle. And you can also think of the square as being deformed from a circle using continuous deformation. And uh, what do I mean by continuous? It just means that you are not allowed to uh, have any discontinuity in this in this deformation process or uh, in, in informal language you are not allowed to tear it apart okay so for example you cannot do this from a circle so you cannot uh, have a, a tearing uh, of the circle it, it's not allowed so this is what is meant by continuous deformations so under continuous deformations some properties of topological objects remain unchanged and topology is used to study these properties okay another main feature of topology is that it generalizes and unifies um, uh, ideas such as continuity and convergence by convergence uh, I, I mean limits so if you have studied calculus you have seen both these concepts of continuous functions and and limits of functions um, and topology generalizes and unifies these these ideas to an abstract setting So what do I mean by generalizes? So usually in, in calculus, 
in calculus we have seen in continuity and and limits are studied for real numbers right for real numbers and what topology does is uh, allow uh, it allows us to talk about continuity and and limits in in a wide variety of other settings that are other than uh, different from real numbers so in that sense it generalizes um, these these ideas what does it mean by unifies it means that the same definition the same uh, way to express continuity and limits can be used for various different things so not only does it uh, generalizes to um, other more different uh, settings it also allows you to talk in the same uh, breath the ideas of continuity and and limits meaning that the same definition for continuity and limits works for let's say uh, any other space and the same definition works for real numbers as well so in this sense it generalizes and unifies these ideas lastly uh, it gives simplified uh, conceptual understanding of basic results um, in calculus such as calculus such as the intermediate value theorem so so in calculus we study that uh, a function f a real valued function can if it takes values between f a and f b then there exists uh, a point c uh, which so given any point in between uh, these two values f a and f b so these are the two values f a and f b given any point in between there exists a c such that uh, this point can be expressed as, as the range um, of f so it is of the form f of c so this kind of um, theorems are, are very basic to calculus and topology uh, gives a conceptual understanding meaning that it also tells us why these things are true and uh, in that sense it, it gives you a simplification of these concepts so um, then we can also talk about when when we know why these things are true then we can also talk about these things in in, in more abstract more general settings so these are the main features of topology that i wanted to talk about and in the next lecture we will see that topology uses set theory and logic in in a very fundamental way so in the next lecture we will start with uh, studying set theory and logic and uh, um, eventually we will come to the what we mean by topology in mathematical terms